So African bush is very different from the everyday experience of someone that lives in a city, any big city in the world. Um, and a lot of people that, uh, that do go to the African bush often go on, 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 a, on a very uh, protected and, and, uh, and well-organized and almost civilized safari. It's like, it's like uh, Africa, in, uh, civilized Africa that they experience, but in the bush. So my stories are, are different because they are about the untouched African bush. They are about um, where, where, where people hasn't been and where there is actually no civilization uh, other than what has been there for the, for the past 300 years. And that's also, of course, a different kind of civilization and in many ways very refined civilization. The African bush is, is, of course, a very, very special place. It's got a charm and, a, and, a, and, a, and a, an allure of its own, which um, if you were born and bred in Africa and have lived here all your life and your, your forefathers have lived here, it's something that gets into your blood. When the African bush contains so many different elements, now, I have done a lot of hunting of big game and other game in the African bush um, in very remote places. And what I discovered uh, after a while, it's not so much about the hunting. Because hunting, in a way, is a, is a, is a sad thing. There's this uh, incredible excitement, this incredible build-up, this, um, this element of danger, if you're hunting danger game, dangerous game. Uh, which is alluring for a for a man. So hunting uh, is, is 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 not just about shooting. It's about a lot of other things, uh, too. And uh, but what I discovered later on is that it is it is being in the bush that was really the important thing to me. And 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 the 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 element of of, of danger, or even mortal danger, and the element of uncertainty. What because you never know what's going to happen next in the bush. Uh, and you, don't, you never know what you're going to see. And I've tried to, to tell the stories in an in-the-moment type of mode. And, and people have said to me that it was as if they were there. Um, so I, I've tried to describe very well the emotions and the observations and the, the, the experience it, itself. Uh, and what the people said and how one felt and so on. So, yes, I think, uh, although it would be very different from their everyday experience, I think they would be able to relate to it uh, because it was, it's just told by an, an, an ordinary person, me. Uh, there's nothing special about me, more special than anybody else.